What's up, guys? I'm out here with my buddy Kevin, local guy. Good morning. We're on John's Lake. I've Where? never done a video. John's Lake. We're at John's Lake? Yeah. I have never done a video at John's Lake. A lot of people know about John's Lake. It's got some really big fish in it. It is middle of February. Water's warming up. It's supposed to be 80 degrees today, which is crazy for a lot of people, but not crazy for Florida. It always seems to get this way in February and everybody thinks winter's over, but it's not. And then everybody's really surprised when March rolls around and we get a half dozen nights below freezing. But today it is supposed to get up to 80. The water's almost 65 degrees and there's gonna be some fish on beds. I have no idea what we're gonna catch them on today because I haven't been coming out here very much. Probably throw a little bit of chatterbait, some swim jig, probably a fluke, good search bait, speed worm, maybe do some sight fishing. Um, there's some really good flipping stuff, punching, whatever you want to call it these days, in one area of this lake. Old school Florida looking flipping stuff with pencil reeds and cattails, bull rushes, like the stuff we used to flip down in Okeechobee. All that stuff's here on John's Lake. And stick with us. We might not catch any fish or we might catch a whole bunch of big ones and this is the best video I've ever done. But we're going to give it a go. See you in a minute. I think it's cool how they take these old pontoon boats and turn them into docks. Yeah, it's a... Oh, there's a bite. On just a Texas rig. You got it? Yep. Oh, he's a giant. You can easily tell by the way they hit it too, huh? Yeah. <laughs> really small. A giant John's Lake. thing is dark. I know. Looks like a giant shiner. The first bite of the day. It's a this, giant shiner. It's a giant shiner. No, it's a little bass. This tells me they're spawning. It doesn't tell me they're spawning right now. It tells me they were spawning about a year ago. Because <laughs> this fish is like 12, 10 inches long. But that's our first bite just on a Texas rig trick worm. We've only been fishing for about a half hour, so I'm sure it'll get better. That's how you fish John's Lake, right there. Video's done. All right, so your standard fishing was not panning out. I didn't really want to do this in the video because this is some awesome looking stuff back here on John's Lake. And some people don't know about it. And the sun's right behind me, so this isn't very good footage. But we're flipping. There's some of the best looking flumping and punching stuff left in Florida right here on John's Lake. It's dead calm and sunny, which is great flipping weather or punching weather, whatever you want to call it now. Um, got a one and a half ounce weight pegged here with a bobber stopper, trocar hook, and a Reaction Innovations Beaver, black with blue flake on 65 pound braid. And we're gonna be flipping. Hopefully this will work out because the other fishing is not working out that great right now because it's dead calm and sunny like it's been the past two days so hopefully you'll see a bunch of good flipping stuff we'll catch some big fish doing it oh there's a bite right there jeez look out Woo! Jeez. <laughs> did he hit it right as soon as it thumped under the water That's what happened in here the other day. I well, you not... almost killed somebody? No, <laughs> I, didn't have, I didn't have anybody in the boat to kill. <laughs> they, they were thumping it when it was busting through, yeah. and I'm sitting there feeling it, and then, then when you set the hook, I don't know what it is. Oh, there's a bite. Yep. First flipping bite. Yay. It's not a giant. But it is a flipping bite. Nice. This is actually the first punching bite I've ever got on film. Is it really? Yeah. Never. I mean, I've done a lot of it in the past, I just haven't done it. 
this fish has been caught before. Just a two and a quarter. He busted it. I had a bite a while back, missed it. First punching bite I've got on film. Let me show you guys what I got while I got it here. I have a smaller hook on here. This is a three out trocar, or four out could be with a Snell knot, 65 pound braid. I have a one and a half ounce tungsten weight and a bobber stopper. That Snell knot, I explained in one of my older videos how it makes that hook sit like that. And I'm throwing a black and blue Reaction Innovations beaver. And we're punching through some of the most amazing looking flipping stuff. And that's the first real bite I've had. We've only been doing it for about a half hour. But now we have confidence in it and we're gonna light them up. I can't believe just the amount of... There's bait in here yeah, and all kinds of stuff. In it's like football practice. Do it again. Do it again. She is all over that thing. Here, you try. Let me try pitching this swim bait in there real quick, which is not your typical sight fish and stuff. You're filming, right? Yeah. Oh, come on. How did that just happen? <laughs> you suck. <laughs> Dude. Sight fishing. <laughs> How do I try for 10 minutes, man? <laughs> uh, the glasses help. I couldn't see the jig, though. I couldn't see, I could see the fish. I just couldn't yeah. see anything remotely so, close. Caught that one on a swim bait. Oh my gosh. How's that possible when you've got like 50 other bait fish sitting <laughs> right around her? So, what happened, and the camera's not going to be able to see it. You know, it's a two and three quarter pounder. Right it there. look bigger than underwater. The, uh, there's a bed there, which the, I know the camera can't see it. But what happened is uh, when I pulled it in there, she turned just like it was turned on yours. And she got vertical on it, and I, I popped it into her face. Like, uh, popped it to her, and yeah. she went whack. And just whacked God. it. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Keep going. Let me get over the bed here a second. There's a ton of beds in here. That's fun. That was stressful. Man. Yeah, it is. I grew up doing a lot of sight fishing, though. Yeah. And I learned a lot from, like, Scott Martin and Kobe Krieger. I've fished with both those guys. There's the bed there. Um, they're both excellent sight fishermen. Is that a fish right there? There's one on this bed too. Alright. I want to do this. Hold on. That one, it came back. It is right there. Right there. I see it. Okay. Use a trick worm or what? Or um, you know what? I'm gonna rig you up one of these because that worked pretty darn good on a right handed reel. Um I'll do the jig for now then. Okay. Dude, what a difference Polaroid or polarized lenses make. Yeah. We're going right over the top. She's all oh oh did you see her pick oh you couldn't see it. She picked it up and drug the drug it back by about an inch. But you would not have caught it. Let me make see how this okay. Try this thing. Yeah, same thing. <sighs> Dude. I can't. I gotta throw it the other way and fix it. Can you even reel? If, oh, you can reel. Because I have a feeling you're gonna catch it on this cast. Get it, get it, get it, get it. There we go. Apparently, they want a swim jig. There we go. Is the best bait 
For sight fishing. Okay. That is, they are reacting to that, and it may be the color and the action. Nice. These are some chunks, aren't they? Yeah. I mean, they're not your giant nine pounders that people are looking for. What a trip. Look how fat that fish is, though. That jig, he, she wouldn't touch it. No, you put that one cast with that. One cast, boom. So we know okay. what to throw at them. It's a about an eight dollar bait because <laughs> it's a it's a swim jig head because this is the swim jig head I like with a very few yeah. um, deals with a gambler. Uh, what is that? That's not the big easy. The swimming easy, I think. A smaller one. What a trip! Man. And two casts on beds with them, two fish. That nice. That's a good three pound chunk right there. Look how fat that thing is. Put her back right here. Right here a little home. Sweet. Right. Now we know. Nice. Nothing. Nah. Uh, I mean that's that's something, but it's all silted in and done. Hey, this bank doesn't look as good as it, we, you would think it would look from over yeah. on the other side of the lake. The bottom's just not. Oh, there's a bed. Yeah, right there. I can't see if there's a fish on it. So the, the one day I was here, that's this is I don't even know if we could see the beds this well, and we we're throwing that speed worm and I there we go. One cast. I was about to say we were throwing that speed worm, and if you because we couldn't hardly see it, if you landed on it, you'd just catch them. Like kind of like you just did. Little buck bass. Is there another one down there? I don't know. Off of this bed right here, one cast. No. Oh, they're all over it. Got it. Nice. Look at this. so funny because the first time around yeah. she picked it up she moved it and i cast it back and she's like oh no you're not oh man that's cool but there's like two or three more yeah. sitting right there on it catch them on a swim bait sight fishing with a swim bait isn't that crazy Ugh. just get those pliers oh you got it okay. nice man that is wild put it we'll release it on this side of the boat Cause that other one's still locked on it. I'm gonna yeah. throw on that other one. That's awesome. Dude, that is so stinking cool. On a Crazy. swim bait. Oh, oh, oh. Watch this. I'm gonna catch this one on this cast. You want me to uh, show you how it's done there? <laughs> <laughs> Oh! Here comes boat traffic. She took my swim bait off. No! That coming. I already caught one fish off this bed. Now we're, there was about three pounds. Now we're going to catch this other one. It looks like it's about the same size. It ate my swim bait off the hook and I missed it. Watch this. Catch it right here. I'm a guarantee <laughs> a catch on. on this cast. I can feel it. Yeah. Look at that. A little bit smaller. 
That's awesome, isn't it? That's so cool. <laughs> Off a swim bait. Off a swim bait. The best lures for sight fishing, obviously, are swim baits. Oh my gosh, this is wild. Was there a third one? No, <laughs> a little tiny male swimmer. I think this might be the male, though, because that one you caught had a belly like this on it. That's that awesome. Is wild. I missed it. This one ate one of my swim baits, but then she blew it back out. <laughs> or he blew it back out. That's yeah. a solid two pounder, two something, yeah. though. All right, that's awesome. We're just about to head in. It's about one o'clock in the afternoon. This ended up being a sight fishing video. I didn't think it would, or I didn't know if it would because I haven't been here in a couple weeks to John's Lake. And we had some really great weather for sight fishing. The uh, wind picked up a little bit, which made it a little challenging. There weren't fish on every bed. And we sure didn't find any giants, but we had some good three pounders that came off beds. I think we caught five or six fish on beds. Um, caught one fish flipping, which you'll see, which you will have saw earlier in the video. But it's pretty cool when you come out here and watch these fish eat it. And the, the coolest part of today was when we caught the two fish off the one bed. Oh, ah. oh, he missed it. Ah, she's sitting right there. <laughs> she's on it. Maybe we're gonna catch one more, but we're gonna take off here in a minute. And uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, and now you know what the best lure is for sight fishing. It's a swim bait. Get back, get back.